goodness. Let me tell you, there is nothing like having a party and having to put out more chairs. That makes us happy. So to all of our guests, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us today. Now, Robert and kids, let's show them how we do it. May I have your attention, please? Nice. You heard my signal. You put your eyes on me, and you got ready for our show. Robinson kids, we have such a wonderful way to end our time together this school year, because today you're going to hear a story. And you're going to hear a story about a journey that a fourth grade class took today. And their journey is not over, because they're going to ask you to leave here and continue the story. So you have a big job ahead. But I'm not going to tell you the story. I'm going to turn this over to Mrs. Puzo and her kids. And then we'll talk a little bit more in a minute. Thank you for coming. I wanted to give you a background on the journey that we have been in process with the last couple months. It started with a book written by Patricia McKissick, and it's called A Friendship for Today. It's based on her true story. She was one of the first African Americans to attend Robinson after segregation lifted in the 1950s. So as we are reading this chapter book, we are having conversations about social injustices that were occurring during that time period. We named what social injustices were, what prejudice was, and what discrimination was, and my kids began noticing that we still have some things that need to change in our world today. They began making connections in their own lives, and they wanted their voices to be heard on how we can be the change for tomorrow. The students became aware, and then they wanted to have other people be aware so that everyone can be the change. We wrote essays about social injustices and didn't want to stop there. We asked if we could make a video. I wrote a letter to Mr. Harmon from SCLTV asking if he would help us make a video about social injustices, and he said yes. So we made a video, which we're going to see in a few minutes here, but my class doesn't want to stop here. They want to write a justice bill. So if anybody knows how to write a bill, please come see me after this. What they want, they want social justice to be taught in all schools across America. We started here in Kirkwood. So our very own Dr. Raker came and visited our classroom and told us what our next steps would be in order to make this part of the curriculum in Kirkwood. But we don't want to stop there. We want it to be in the curriculum in Missouri, and all over the United States. So I said we had been making connections, and Mr. Holman said we needed a, a song for our video, and uh, we found Malik, who's in fifth grade, and he is in Dr. Grayson's class, but he had actually, He had actually already written a rap on social justice for uh, a report for Black History Month, and so we invited him into our project, and he has does, done amazing things for us as well. We did not want social injustices to occur when we get older, so we want to stop it now. Kids learn from what adults do. Make sure you are doing the right thing because we are learning from you. If we decrease the amount of social injustices, we increase our ability to change. We hope our movie inspires you to join us in being the change to stop social injustices. We want our voices to be heard. Please help us spread the message to, messages to others. So 
social injustices that occur in our society each and every day. They were disturbed that people were being discriminated against based upon their race, gender, religion, economic status, or body image. They want to make a difference in our world. They want to be the change and wanted the voices to be heard on how we can make a change. has happened since segregation ended over 50 years ago, and more change needs to happen. I agree. Ryan? I think we can make a change. Malik? I think we can be the change. Yeah! yeah! Be proud. Be yourself. Be tolerant. Knock it off. Knock it off. Be helpful, not hurtful. Be friendly. Be kind. Believe in equality. Be peaceful. All colors matter. Let's go forward, not back. Be equal. Stop the violence. We can stand equal. We get it, do you? Be the change.
So in our journey, we have come a long way, and I am very proud of my students. You. You're probably noticing the shirts that we're wearing. That was also their idea. They wanted our logo to be on the shirts. They want people in the streets to ask us, what is Be The Change? so that we can explain it to them. We do have shirts that are on sale if you're interested, and the proceeds are going to a good cause to help kids, so it's kids helping kids. And I'm gonna hand the microphone over to Jennifer Sizzle so she can explain more. And I'm Mendo. We have with us today, we have two members actually of the city of Ferguson. Um, Mary Knowles is here, would you like to come up also, sir? And then we have um, Amy Brandanzo, who is from the Ferguson Public Library. And when the kids talked about making a change for kids, we thought, well, no, wait a minute. Hi, Mayor Knowles. We thought, well, wait a minute. Summer, kids, reading, how about donating to the library? To your summer program. So Jamie and Trey are going to hand you a ceremonial check. We have all done that, not we, excuse me. The kids have already raised over $500 for summer programs, the City of Ferguson's Public Library Children's Department. As things kind of get toward the end of the year, a little wacky, we'll give you a real amount as soon as we know, but we know it's at least $500. And so we wish um, our kiddos in the city of Ferguson, the Ferguson, Ferguson, Ferguson Forest and School District, a wonderful summer. Um, I would like to then just follow up for just a second to thank the many people on the team that made that possible. Um, Andre Holman and his crew have become part of Robinson. And so I would love if they would stand up for us. Andre, please stand up. And our director, please stand up. They have earned their Robinson Road Runner shirts. Um, and the story of Andre is that we met him uh, through our iLead program. And iLead is a leadership program that we um, have for fourth and fifth grade males um, who are African American. And we meet together and we bring them together with mentors from all around our community. And Andre reached out and when Dion wrote that letter, he said, yeah, let's go. And here we go. So we thank you for that. We also have other gentlemen who have been a part of our iLead program. Um, if you guys wouldn't mind standing up, I'd appreciate it. Uh, Mr. Macon, Mr. Parks, Mr. Willis, Mr. Taylor, Mr. Smart, Mr. Cross. Our Riley gentlemen, I know, are so appreciative of the stories and the support that you have offered to them, and we thank you very much for that. Uh, I'd like to thank our school board members who are able to join us today. Mrs. Angie Bernardi, Mr. Darnell Frost, Mrs. Marie Kelly are here today. What a tribute to the kids. And we know that you represent your board, and we appreciate that. Um, okay, you guys are ready? I think all my bosses are here. <laughs> all of them. So, wake up. Um, yeah, I'm gonna. Um, two of our uh, superintendents are here, Dr. Williams, Dr. Chris Raker, Ms. Dr. Shirley's Washington, I saw her right there. So we have many members of our central office staff here, Dr. Tendai and their staff. Thank you for coming over. We appreciate that so very much. Um, Maxine Clark, we are so happy to have you here. I just called you out. We are so happy to have you here. Thank you for being here. You are a friend of schools and a friend of children. Thank you very, very much for joining us. We appreciate that. And I know that uh, Kirkwood's mayor, Art McDonald, who we all know, right, has something for us as well.
can't walk. I had knee surgery. <laughs> or just stay right there. You don't have to move. Put this over here. And I'm going to give this to you. Well, it's very exciting for me to be here and uh, be here with uh, Jim Knowles, um, who I've known for a long time, and he is a great example to all of us who's trying to um, help his community um, make a change. And um, you, all of you who have made this film and have done this research and everything, you are phenomenal. And I love your film, and, and I, I'm going to order a t-shirt if they have a size big enough for me. And, um, you know, uh, the, I have a proclamation here which I'm going to give to to your teacher, and um, it, it, it basically says a lot of the things which you've already mentioned, which is that, that you saw a need for change and a need to help end discrimination against race and gender and body image and economic status and religion. Well, this, this turned into your discussion about all of this turned into the making of this film and into your commitment to making a change in your lives and in our community. And I always told my sons, you know, believe in the golden rule, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. And I think that if you always believe that, you'll always do the right thing. And no matter um, what, um, business you're in or what um, activities you're in, if you believe in that and treat others like you would be like to be treated, then uh, things will be pretty good. So I have this proclamation to give to your teacher and um, uh, it basically um, says a lot of the things which we've talked about already today. And so it's my pleasure as the mayor of the city of Kirkwood on behalf of the Kirkwood City Council to recognize Robinson Elementary and Mrs. Buzo's fourth grade class on their initiative to bring awareness to the importance of social injustices and discrimination and do hereby declare Thursday, May 28, 2015, that's the day, be the change day in the city of Kirkwood, Missouri. Production Expertise by Mr. Ben Kessler. And uh, that was a professionally recorded rap. And we are darn proud of you. It's beautiful. And to Dr. Grayson, Dr. Grayson, who had the vision to let students show their understanding of civil rights through any medium they wanted, we thank you, Dr. Grayson, because that's how that all came about. So, Dr. Grayson, well done. If we could also, uh, I just want to highlight something to the fourth, to these fourth grade kids real fast. I want to tell you guys something. I have been talking to Mrs. Puzo for years about finding her voice. Yeah. <laughs> I think she found it. So in honor of that, thank you. 
In honor of that, Mrs. Puzo has been carrying around the two books that started the journey of Friendship for Today and the Watsons Go to Birmingham. She's been carrying these around for months. They look awful. So, and poor Mrs. My House just wants to close the library. I know. I know. So we're going to return these because we bought copies just for Mrs. Puzo that all her kids will sign, but I can't find them. I know they're in the building, and no one's surprised by that. So there's, we'll give those back to Mrs. My House. Would you look at the back, please? Would you look at the back, please? These are all the ways that the kids have decided they want to spread the word. We are tweeting, we are Facebooking, we are gonna put our video up somewhere, and it's gonna go viral. YouTube. We're sure of that. Again, you can also buy t-shirts. We'd love to have you do that. YouTube. And it's gonna be on YouTube, and we'll make sure that, that link is well published. Mrs. Puzo, any final thoughts then for us? Please join us in being the change. <laughs> the Robins and kids, look at your teachers, honored guests. Please come meet our celebrities. Thank you for being here. That was awesome. Oh my God. You didn't think that you were hanging out this for a second.